sure why, why there's a hole there. This is interesting looking. This looks like a trunk. Oh, whoa, this is... What? Yeah, baby. Look at that. 2200 bucks. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. Really. Oh. Forget you saw that. Forget it. What's up, Locker Nuts? Okay, you can see I'm starting to get a little deeper into the unit. I got stuff up here. I just pulled a bunch of stuff out. Starting to get a little bit deeper into the unit. That's progress. Uh, but still, tons of stuff to go through. Hey, if you're new to the channel, here's what we do. We buy storage lockers at auction. But in this case, we bought pallets at auction, but it's from a moving and storage company. So still the same kind of stuff, personal items that people are putting away to store. Um, pallet auctions this is what we got we took it off the pallets put it on our truck and unloaded it here in my unit uh so let's go through a little bit more this is episode three of the pallet the last round of pallet auctions which as it happens is the third pallet auction i've been to so far great stuff if you haven't watched the previous two videos go back and watch them we're finding vintage bose speakers finding some really odd instruments those are them right there and uh, good audio, like somebody was in a band and had some decent stuff. I don't have no clue what else we're gonna find. Let's start digging. All right, what do you guys think this is right here? This thing, it's not that heavy, it's pretty light. And it says Proline on it. Proline has tested this stand with many finishes and found no problems. Still, we advise caution with vintage instruments and nitrocellulose finishes. And I'm just curious if there's a model number or something on here. It actually looks kind of expensive. This is rubber coated. All these, everything's rubber coated. It's pretty nice. That could be a few bucks. Maybe it's for guitars or something. I don't know. What's this? Velo CD rewriter. This is hecka old. This is a CD drive from way back in the day. I mean, look at this. They have a VHS instructions on it. That's hecka old. Yeah, what do we got here? DVD player, not a Blu-ray. So, not very much value. What do we have here? Huh. We got this thing here, and we hadn't opened it yet. Uh, and the feel of it, it looks like it's got a little top on it feels wider at the top here a lip around so I think this is a little side table let's open it and find out okay. oops don't read that guys don't read that we're not allowed to say their name on social media so forget you saw that forget it okay yep little side table hmm that's what it is little file cabinet bottom drawer on top not bad hey now we got a little table to work on <laughs> now we had this box back here and this one was this one is heavy that doesn't necessarily mean good stuff it also, it also feels kind of sloppy see how it's like folding in down there i think this one my prediction is books or paperwork let's see something different hmm okay well we're off to the right start right here check this out holy bible right on top with a cross hanging out that's pretty nice it's an older bible what is this huh it's got a big split in it right there but what's that for for holding something but i'm not sure what okay some cds a whole bunch of cds they're all taped up this is, that was interesting hmm. that's a nice piece for the uh 
you know, some man cave. Altec Lansing, this is a probably a computer speaker. Yeah. An older one too. Decent brand though. Alright, we got a little journal here. Oh, no, nothing in there. Uh, you know what I'm going to save this for, though? There you go, Jenna. This for for your auctions. Now we have a pad of paper for you to write down the auction results on our Monday Night Lives. Captain Planet number one. It's a fantastic first issue from the hit cartoon series. It's a Disneyland mug. Oh, man. It's been <laughs> broken and re-glued. What's that? Hmm. It's a funny looking key. Okay, stapler. A lot of office stuff in this one, and I think it's because the guy owned his own business. He was a contractor. What is this? Temper proof anchor. Get your paper. You know, I thought it was paperwork in here, and now I'm starting to feel like I was not that far off because there's a lot of stuff in here. A bunch of receipts. What's this? Huh, look at that. A little metal R assault rifle or something. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm not sure what this is. Kobe. Probably a little mp3 player or something, or I don't know what. I think it's some sort of security camera. Because it turns. It looks like inside it probably goes up and down. What's this? Another Alltech Lansing. There's the other side to that speaker. Ah, look at this. There's some stamps. Are these forever? Oh, these are forever stamps. Alright guys, there's... 50 cents each. So there's like basically I'm holding a bunch of 50 cent coins right here. That's good. Forever. 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 That's same as money. Okay, we've got this box. It says Prism Image Projector. Yeah, that's what it appears to be. Hmm, there's a picture of it. Okay, we got the eBay app open. Let's see here. Let's just try that. Prism Image Projector. Let's see what it says. Oh, here's one. <laughs> that looks like very similar. 200 bucks. This one's 100 bucks. Let's look at what actually sold. Because that's all that really matters. Alright. Okay. 100 bucks. 105. What the heck? It looks like a newer box. Definitely a newer box. I mean... Artograph, that's what it is. Hmm, 130 bucks. Well, dang. That's actually got some value. I'm going to take that home. We're going to have to test that out and list it. That's, that's a nice find. This looks like all paperwork, but let's just... Let's just get confirmation of that and make sure there's nothing else slipped in here. So as I said before, this guy owned a contracting business. He's a marble and granite fabricator, I think, from what I looked up. And from what we found, that's what it appears to be. That's what all this is. Customer records. Customer records. Okay, here we got a decent sized bin here. What's in here? It's an elephant. Huh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is kind of a fun little box. Look at this. Elephant. Sounds like something jingling around inside of it. I'm, I'm not sure why, why there's a hole there. I mean, guys, I understand why there's a hole there, but not on a ceramic one, you know what I'm saying? 
Uh, I'm not sure what that is either. Hmm. Huh. It's a little heavy like it's weighted with sand. Okay, we have some pine cones and a, ooh, that's a very nice little bowl actually. Oh, and some cheese shares. That's cool. The bowl is actually really nice. Hmm. We'll sell it. Sell, sell, sell. Okay, another elephant. Are these guys nice enough to uh, hold on to for a better flea market or maybe our auction? I don't know. What else we find? Oh, look at this, another elephant. Porcelain patchworks. Huh, okay. Some coasters. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, curse to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. That's a great saying. Oh, okay. Well, hang on now. This is nice. It's from Germany, a little stein. It appears to be pewter, I think. What's this? Tranquility. Let's go. Cool. Okay, we got this tall box right here. It says lamp base. I think we had another one like this and we opened it and it was indeed a lamp. This feels like a lamp. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like lamps. That's copper. Wait, is that? I think that's copper. What is that though? It's to hang stuff on, but what? Maybe this isn't copper. No, it feels like copper. We have... Ooh, these are actually really cool looking though. Mm. Hope this isn't broken. Hopefully that just screws back in. Looks like it does. It looks like it does. This is actually a really nice lamp. It's so pretty. Really, that is that is a nice, nice lamp. Okay, let's see what we got here. This thing, oh, this is interesting looking. This looks like a trunk. Or, no, maybe a music thing. Let's see. What is this? See the metal corners here? And here's the feet. Rubber feet here. Carbon amplifier. Heck, yeah. Oh, tube amplifier. This is great news, guys. This is great news right here. Oh yeah, this is super nice. Oh man, look inside there, there's the tubes, can you see inside? Oh, whoa, this is, what? That is, oh man, this thing is, this thing is extremely heavy. That is crazy looking. Look at that. Oh wow, look at it, you can see right inside the tubes, it's like they display them. Because you know that's what people want to see. But you know what? I can see two spots in there which look like the uh, fuses or uh, tubes are supposed to sit in there. And there's none. I wonder if that's intended or not. Wowza. This is super cool. This is good, guys. This is really, really good. Really good. Carbon V3. Let's check it out on eBay. <laughs> okay. $399, 349 385 $399, $370, $381, $377. Okay. So we got it. It looks like it's between three and $400 if it's in working order. There's that pedal that we found the other day. A foot switch is what it's called. $35. Um, oh, look, there's the foot pedal with a uh, foot switch with this. See that? So I need to find that where I put it. I think I put it in one of the trunks because that can be sold with this. And that was $4.79. Dang. Mine's a little different because this has like a metal top. And you see this one? Oh, and they've got the screw missing here. This one's not all the way in. I think it's, we're missing a couple tubes here. This might not be in working order, but I have a feeling even so, it's a couple hundred bucks. 
a couple hundred bucks at least. That's good news, guys. Wow. All right. Well, while we're at it, what is this? This thing's heavy. <laughs> get the plastic off, get the blanket off, and we have another round of plastic. Wow, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Get that up. EV, this thing is humongous. Okay, we're gonna have to look this one up too. SH1502ER. This is sold prices, okay? For a pair. Hmm, 152. I don't know if this is the right ones though. This is 1512. We have a 1502. See what we got here? Well, maybe it is the same. Oh, this is a big old honking speaker though. Hmm. Alright, well that's a good find. More good finds. More good finds. This audio stuff is pretty crazy. All right, let's see what's in this box here. Oh, this looks like something interesting. This right here. Okay, let's see. All right, first let's get this out. What is this? Mirror decor, it says. That's just a regular old mirror. You see that? Just a mirror. That's nice. I mean, it's whatever. It'll sell. Okay, but this thing here, this is neat. What is this? Wow, that is so cool. Is that the Empire State Building? Neat, wow. So it's got a thick plastic, it's very sharp, great photograph. Black and white, this is a nice piece. I mean, it's not like super valuable. I'm just saying this This is a really interesting piece. The back is definitely got some issues with the felt there, but great print, very powerful. And we will be selling that. I'd say we're probably gonna get like 20 bucks for that. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, wait, did we already look in here? No, this is another box marked speakers and <laughs> I see speakers. Sure looks like speakers. Alright. Oh. Start with this. Oh dang it guys. This is this is another audio equipment. This is so good. Boss. Alright, let's cut it open. Alright, boss. ME 80 guitar multiple effects. This is so cool. Okay, there we go. 270. This one's 115. I'm not sure why. 179, 202, 240, 230, 255. This is a couple hundred bucks right here. This is awesome. They do what did they press this with their feet to turn on the effects? That's my guess. Very cool. Sweet. This is huge, whatever it is. Almost feels like this thing's on a pivot. Is this a spotlight or something? Okay. Okay. It's really heavy. And because of this thing turns, it's hard to get a grab on it. Besides the handles, which were pretty far down there. What is this thing? This is crazy. This is crazy. Why does it look like it's upside down? See that? It's upside down. Is this thing supposed to be mounted to the ceiling? Maybe, perhaps? It's like a computer. It's going to trans... Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Okay. Studio picks. My, my, my. Studio picks. That's a model. Studio picks. It's from 2009, so it's not recent. Right, let's let's look this guy up too. I don't understand what's happening right now. I can't I can't get eBay to take studio picks. It keeps um and see this right here, automated luminaire. But then I let's see if this finds it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Twenty two hundred bucks. Wow, that's awesome. This is from Gear Source. Who knows how reliable that is? For some reason, eBay keeps changing the name. Maybe they don't have any matches, but they shouldn't be changing the name in my search. So, wow, 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 wow! This is amazing. Really, wow. Okay. What else we got? Because we're not done. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Knobs are missing. Okay, we have a Denon AVR1508. I like this. It's got HDMI ports here, and that means it's kind of newer, right? A little bit newer. And it's good, too, because I'm going to need a tuner to test some of this stuff out, because I don't even own a tuner. <sighs> but it's, it does, it is unfortunate it's missing the knobs. You can still turn it, though. You can still turn the controls. This looks like a nice tuner. Well, now it looks like a pretty good time to go because we just found these awesome things to share with you guys. Pallet auctions are not disappointing once again. This thing is amazing right here. If that's a couple thousand dollars right there, I'm gonna be so happy. That pays for all the pallets with that one machine right there. I don't know if it's really worth 2,000. I don't know what the fair market value is, but I know it's big money. So. We are so good. I hope there's a way that I can plug it in and try it out. And I know that you'd like to see that too. But right now, I got to get home, or I want to get home because playoff football's on. Chiefs versus Titans. Boom. I know it's going to be a great game. And after that, so excited. 49ers versus Green Bay. This is old news by the time you watch this, but it's not right now. I want to go home and watch football because I love watching football, all right? But I hope you guys loved watching this video. And if you did, shoot me a thumbs up. Show me that you like this sort of thing. Like taking me in here, going on the adventure, digging through boxes, seeing what I bought at the pallet auction. And uh, really, when I say taking you along, we are that's a serious statement now that we got that GoPro on the chest mount. I'm taking you basically in the box with me. You're even getting a little bit closer than I am. You're right here, I'm back here. So like, it doesn't get better than that and I hope you're enjoying it. We'll bring you back to dig through the rest of the boxes, but I have a couple days of auctions ahead of me. So you never know, I might slip in a little auction footage, tease you with if, you know, little shots of what I buy. If I buy something the next few days, I probably will, but we'll have to see. You will see soon enough, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts.